Operation Herrick 16 has formally begun in Afghanistan, with a new brigade taking over Britain's responsibilities. A transfer of authority ceremony has been held at the headquarters of Task Force Helmand in Lashkagar, where the flag of 12th Mechanised Brigade replaced that of 20th Armoured Brigade. James Hurst reports. As the Iron Fist flag of 20th Armoured Brigade flew over Lashkagar for the final time, some of the troops who've served on Herrick 15 were joined by those they're handing over to on Herrick 16. Right. Right. The incoming and outgoing commanders of Task Force Helmand were joined for the handover by the US General commanding ISAF Southwest region. It was a relatively low-key ceremony, reflecting the aim of continuity and continued transition as Herrick 15 ends and 16 begins. Tribute was paid to the achievements of 20th Armoured Brigade, particularly in handing many more parts of the province to Afghan control. Six months ago, 10% of Central Helmand's population was in transition. Now it's 60%. It's been an astonishing tour for those of us on Herring 15. It's certainly exceeded all of my expectations. Uh, it's certainly been the most fulfilling and the most encouraging tour that I've done during my career. The 23 people who've lost their lives on Herrick 15 were also remembered, along with 123 injured. The challenges that lie ahead were acknowledged in this ceremony, with the end of the poppy harvest in this area and the beginning of fighting season. But the incoming commander of Task Force Helmand believes he is being handed solid foundations on which to build. For the last time I, was, I served there, it was on Herrick 10. And I've been involved in jobs that have sort of looked at the operation from a farce between then and now. Um, it's quite clear to me that actually all of the Herricks, you know, th from 10 onwards, have sort of overlapped and taken uh, the operation further forward. I think as I've stepped in this time, and we've worked very closely with Herrick 15 to get us to this point, there's really two things which I really have sprung to mind. One is that the NSF now have a much clearer idea of what it is they wish to achieve in the longer term. And they are now, and the second bit is they're now starting to have the confidence to act on that set of priorities that they have. And we're now more in an enabling role than a leading role. For the next six months, as you command Task Force Helmand, what are your priorities? It's very much in order I've just described there, but it's not as simple as that sentence. Depending on the area, which district you're in and which sub-district, uh, the level of threat or the level of Afghan capacity to continue to build the security is at variance. And my aim is to move some of those harder areas further on and transfer the lead across to an Afghan uh, security organisation. For some people, there has been a concern in the last couple of months, and for families of those who've just come out here, about a perceived shift in threat, a spike in so-called green on blue attacks. There was an incident here at Lashkagar. What do you say to those who have concerns about that proving an issue for your Herrick? I think th there is an issue there, um, but what we've done is we've, we've, in our training, taken each one of those incidents and really pulled them apart to see what lessons can be learned. They're all isolated incidents. That's the first thing that's important to make, uh, to bring out. And we have put measures in place to try and prevent those incidents reoccurring. But the most important thing for me is I've discussed this with all of the Afghan commanders, both army and police that I'll be working with. And to be honest, they are as, um, they are as horrified by the tragedy that took place here in Lashkigar as we were. And in fact, they are the ones who are putting more of the measures and controlling their men in. They do not want to see this thing happen again, and neither do we. Will we expect to see any big changes from Herrick 16? I think we're going to take forward the work from Herrick 15 very much as they took it from Herrick 14 um, and we will continue it further on. So I don't think big changes. It's going to be little changes as I mentioned about uh, more and more of the sub-districts transferring to Afghan security. For you, six months from now, what will mark a successful tour? A successful tour for me will be the local nationals having a perception of the environment being secure to enable them to carry on with their life and build their produce and get it to market.